I've got a it looks like a uh, three pointed candelabra with three legs. I've got a houseboat with a halo. Okay, so the symbols that you're describing match up. So when you opened hit the, the the combo, it opened up the door for me. Oh, nice! So I'm in a round room with a bunch of paintings in it that have looks like there's three or three or so different. Oh, yes, uh, critters, the, the, the... and each of them has a, has a, a set of three symbols on it that are that match up with what you're describing. Gotcha. And I've got a picture of again, looks like a crane or something. But it's got a, uh, a, a, a on the left or on the right side of the face. It looks like a long hornbill, and on the left side of the face, it's got a little curved uh, parrot beak, little tuft on its head, and a snail on its back. My name is John Shaky, the Biscuit Eater, and I want to welcome you all to another episode, or a new episode of a short game we're going to be playing here, which is called We Were Here. This is a cooperative multiplayer game uh, that's basically just a, two people trying to survive and get out of a castle, as it were, in the middle of the, I think it's the Antarctic. Uh, if you're new to this series, of course, we'll have a link to the playlist in the description down below on the YouTube side. If you're watching live on stream, thank you for being here. If you'd like to have a chance to watch us live, you can do so every Monday and Wednesday from 7.30 p.m. until 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time over at twitch.tv forward slash Biscuitator. This is the start of the game. We're actually just figuring out uh, what's happening here and trying to find our way. There is where we're going to be stuck. And pretty much this is all I know. I have no idea what happens in this game other than the fact that it is a puzzle platformer survival where you have to communicate with someone. Uh, we will not be using the in-game push-talk feature because it seems to be a little bit buggy and a little bit hard to hear your partner. So we're going to be using the push-talk feature in, or using the uh, just using Discord instead. Okay, so it looks like we're even not. Were we knocked out, and that's a third person. Interesting. Okay, and we are in game. So now we're going to find out. Nathan, are you able to hear me? I can hear you, and you're no longer echoing. Wonderful! Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go into the audio options and just turn voice chat down all the way on my side as well. And... Okay. So yeah, we'll keep it at that. And I'm going to turn the music down just a little bit further because it seems to be a little bit loud in my ears. And it's causing, not peaking, but it's, it's it's getting a little bit higher on the input side. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, I am going to be using keyboard, so E to interact, face to jump, C to crouch, and I'm not going to push to talk. Eric, come on. <laughs> uh, don't mind, we have a little one in the background over on Nathan's side who may pop in and announce himself every once in a while. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> We're adults. We have adult problems. Okay, like so... Like hyperactive toddlers. Indeed. Okay, so, wow, it is... This is... Okay, is it dark for you? It's, like, super dark for me. Um, let me see if I can actually... Do I have brightness? There we go, yeah. Let's turn the brightness up just... as the mid here. That's a little better. Okay. So, okay, so... Looking to see if there's anything I can interact with. Mouse over anything. Okay, I see a door. It looks like a little purple lights. Can't seem to interact with it. There's a gate in front of it. Okay, what do you okay. see where you're at? Well, uh, I think the part, part of the problem I might have had before is that you're supposed to pick up the radio, and I didn't pick up the radio before, so that might have been why you couldn't hear me but this works better anyway because you're much clearer through Discord than through the in-game. You had a radio uh, pickup, so, okay. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, go figure. Can't use the radio if you don't pick up the radio. Oh, okay. So I, okay. I found a. I've got a few things around here. I've got a green book, which I'm currently stuck looking at. Okay, there's a book open on a pedestal that says "Between the Eyes." Between the thought says the text on the book is not legible. There's a green book on the shelf. The game doesn't let me open, but it's got something written on the back. It says, starting in the far west, take two steps northbound, at east twice. Then after moving north two times, one can head for the door after taking one step towards the western wall. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so... Is, is oh, I got another book here. Um, oh, that's got something written on it. You do the uh, rotation hanky panky here because it's okay. Yeah, you know, let's be rotated in all all directions and you have to orient it so you can actually read the dang thing. Okay, before okay. one starts in the west, take one step towards the eastern wall. Start off by taking two steps north. Move two steps to the eastern wall. You may go to the western wall after heading north twice. You may then leave. So, does this make any sense for where you are right now? I'm not entirely sure. Here's what I see. I have a door with an iron grate in front of it. The iron grate has three... Uh, basically, you've got a... There, there's a circle with two dots, two purple dots in the middle. Then... That it has a it has four purple dots at the cardinal directions, outside of that, and then on the top curve of the gate there are three more purple dots. I think that probably is connected to whatever your 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 rotational puzzle is. I also have a wall with a total of nine symbols on it. One a circle with three lines that crisscross through it in an X pattern. So basically, like X. You got a little a little circle or ovular circle, an X, and then a line down the center on it. I have kind of a T that looks like a Taurus. Uh, if 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 I was going to be really in, inappropriate, it would be an upside down dick and balls. I'm just gonna say it. Why not? Um, I have an A with a third leg. I've got a. Looks like a check mark with an additional. Like a backward Z, but more like a check mark, if that makes sense. Lowercase n with a curly end. Another oval with an X through it. A M with or a two per, uh, two lateral lines with an X between, and then a similar letter M without the other parts of the X. And then finally, another one of those check marks that's a ha actually a backward Z that also has two little extra things radi radiating off of it. And those are interactable. Okay, interesting. So I have a poster on the wall that has each of those symbols you just described with eye colors next to each of them. And I have two red lights that look like they're surrounded by eyeballs. Okay. If you click on the lights, do they change colors? I cannot interact with the lights. Interesting. If I, I'm going to interact with the, uh, we're we're, we're going to do the uh, the O with the three lines bisecting or inter intersecting it. If I do that, okay, no change to the lights. It, it lights up. Oh, that was interesting. I get weird music if I enter the wrong one. Oh, okay. Okay, which ones have... What, what colors are you seeing next to those? Uh... Uh, looks like green, red, and blue. Okay, what's, uh, what, what has red next to it? Um, it's interesting because I've actually got two columns of the symbols, and the color is different depending on if it's left or right. Okay. So, okay. Okay. You see, both are red. 
both are red. Um, so try the, on the left side, try the, uh, we'll just go with dick and balls. Yeah, that's what I see too. Okay. Nothing changed. How about the uh, X with the circle, the one without the vertical line in it? Okay, I just got an error sound. Uh, how about the... the I had I had left the, the dick and balls turned on as well. The, neither gave me an error if they're solo, but if I put them together, well, the, I got an error. Okay. Um, so is it like you have one on the left, one on the right? No, there. Uh, basically, in the order that I gave you, it's there are there are it's three lines of three that are uh, that are slightly off from each other. So I've got. If I were to do them in, it, it, they're in the order that I mentioned them from going going uh, traditional reading. So left to right, down top to bottom. If I go. If like I, in a uh, three by three grid, ish, but th they're offset from each other. They're not actually. They're not all in line. None of them are in line with each other, vertically. Interesting. Um, so besides the eyes and the symbols, I've also got a triangle with an eye in the middle with a vertical line going through it. Actually, no, it looks like it's crossed. Although the center line goes right through the eye, so it's hard to tell. Yeah, I haven't seen that particular symbol around here. Um, I did also find my radio. So, there is that. Like, there, what are you? Okay, yeah, I can't yeah, see. I'm going to look around and see if I can find any more yeah. useful information. Yeah, the go northwest, blah, blah, blah. I really wasn't able to find... I wasn't really able to follow that real quickly, all that quickly. Or doesn't do anything. I'm just gonna. I'm looking around here to see what else no I can see and interact with that might give us some clues. Oh, hey, a map. Oh, maps are nice. Um, not terribly useful at this point. Yeah, it looks like the and it looks like that puzzle is the only thing in the room that I can actively interact with. See. World's oh, wait, hold on, move. hold on, hold on. The answer lies scrawled in blood on the opposite wall. Between the eyes. The answer lies between the eyes. Oh, do you have a between the eyes in blood? Well, so. Oh, okay, I get it. So I just went back to the chart. There's only one row here where both the eyes are red. Okay. I think that's our solution. Okay, what do you got there? So the first one is going to be the uh, the X with the circle, but no vertical line. Got it. And the second one looks kind of like a, a stock market one, but it doesn't have the whoopies at the end. It's just this look, uh, kind of crowbar. It's like a crowbar. Okay, the backward Z. Got it. Oh, I, I yeah. just heard a click. Hey, we got an achievement. Yay! The answer lies. Were there? Was there I anything else? You. Was there anything else in that row? No, it's just those two things. So okay, so I'm thinking you did whatever it is that needed to be done there. And you said you see me? Whoa! <laughs> oh, that, that was a, a, a achievement that popped up. Said I see you. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So I'm now in a room, and I'm hearing a cl I have a grandfather clock. It's still t way too dark in here. One second, let's, let's try to... Let's turn up the brightness a little bit more. Okay, a little better. Okay, so I got a grandfather clock. I have even more of those symbols. I've got a six-pointed star with a circular circle in the center that's cut broken into eight parts. I've got a bunch of candles that are probably not important. Uh, so I got a ton of symbols on one wall, and then on isolated by on its own, I have a picture of what looks like a 
What is it's a it's clearly a bird with two beaks. It looks like a, a, a hornbill and a parrot beak with a snail on its back. That is bizarre. But okay, so I've got a wall of, of symbols. And I can't really interact with anything else in this room. I can't interact with the clock. Okay, so I've got... Okay. Um, this is, again, i got three rows and they're not all... Bun they're not all uh, situated together. I've got what looks like... I'm going to call it a uh, Menomina face. It is a face with a square mouth. With little little tufts for ears. I've got a cat stick figure without legs. I've got a bath clef or an S with two two downward arrows through it. I've got a it looks like a uh, three pointed candelabra with three legs. I've got a houseboat with a halo. Okay, so the symbols that you're describing match up. So when you opened, hit the, the the combo, it opened up the door for me. Oh, nice! So I'm in a round room with a bunch of paintings in it that have looks like there's three or three or so different. Oh, yes, uh, the, 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 and each of them has a, has a, a set of three symbols on it that are that match up with what you're describing. Gotcha. And I've got a picture of again, looks like a crane or something. But it's got a, uh, a, a a on the left or on the right side of the face. It looks like a long hornbill, and on the left side of the face, it's got a little curved uh, parrot beak, little tuft on its head, and a snail on its back. Okay, so snail on its back. So it looks like a swan. It's ugly for a swan. Well. Like the one of them here, puffin crane snail. She, uh, uh, Armstrong says. Okay, so I think I've found it. And the bottom of the frame has what looks like a little four-pointed flower on it. If that makes any difference. Uh, I think they all have that flower on it. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So, yeah, it kind of looks like you've got a, a parrot beak facing to the left and a, a pelican beak facing to the right. Ish, yeah, yeah. With a poopy on top. And a snail on its back. Oh, <laughs> uh, no snail on this one. Well, it's a shell. It's a, it's, it's a shell with a curly cue in the middle of it. Yeah, there's no shell on this particular picture, so we got the right. Interesting. Well, yeah, this one's got it. Well, it's got the same. It's got basically a bunch of permutations of of so like a lot of them have shells. Some of them have different legs. Some have different heads. So, oh, gotcha. Okay, so here's one that's got the shell. It's got the. It's a thick. It's not. A, I, I think pelican. I think a big under. You know, a big uh, droopy. Open beak. Uh, I'm thinking more like cornbill. Like it's it's, it's think like a, a, a small da, 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 horn. But yeah, yeah, like a goose but stretched out. Yes. Okay, I found it. Okay. So I've got a set of three uh, symbols. Okay. Uh, the first one looks like a T with a a, a T with serif with a triangle on top. And like it's forming a cross, like a almost looks like a, a scarecrow. Okay, so it's got like a triangular top. It's got the two arms with vertical lines, uh, upward and then an upward arrow. Yeah, got it. Oh, that's the oh, first one. Oh, I picked it up this time. I didn't depress it. Okay. Yeah, put it there. Okay. The second one is the uh, the stick figure cat. Okay. And a third one, um, I'm not sure if this is the Menomina, the one that you wanted, but it's basically like a big box with a box for a mouth and box yeah, eyes. it's the only one that looks like a face. Yeah. Boom. Is that hey. a Mythbusters? 
Oh, okay. I think just, I'm now I'm hearing a whoosh, whoosh. Coming from the previous door. Okay. All right, now I have stairs down. Okay, I have an empty table. I've got some interesting pipes. I got a door behind bo uh, crates that I can't move. Going down the stairs, I've got water, and I've got a door door with the word purple in, in uppercase and uh, green script. Okay, well, after coming down a bunch of stairs, I've got a flooded basement with some pipe, uh, some valves of varying colors, um, a grate and some other platform that I can't interact with. Looks like the only thing I can interact with, interact with are the valves. Uh, you said purple. The word purple with green letters in uppercase. Well, there's no green here, but there is blue and yellow. Oh, wow. Um, the water just jumped. Um, we may be on a timer. The water is rising. I tried. I can't do anything. I have nothing to interact with in here. The water is really rising. I'm trying. Is there a button I'm supposed to push? My feet are wet. Okay. What'd you do? You just hit random combinations. <laughs> Try to each of them individually and. Apparently blue and purple. Blue and purple. Okay. Are you supposed to be blue and red? I don't know. I know it's it's green and purple, so I don't know. That's weird. Okay, something just went click 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 click. I'm in a corridor. Okay, I do have a door I can interact with. Okay. Okay. I have a. I I have a. Okay, I have a door with a switch. The switch color matches the color of the gems on this big portcullis, so... Okay, I pull that. And it lets me through. I bet you if I... Okay. That let me into this room. Oh, wow. Okay. So we got a lot more here. More cardinal directions. I bet you we should have paid attention to the original... Oh, wow. Well, I can get back to the bug. That's oh, no problem. okay. You are able to go back. I am not. Okay. okay. No. So I'm. I've got. I got a photo of a dog with a candelabra, or a, a, a portrait dog with a candelabra on his head. And there's a. Okay. So there's a. Okay. Let me get back to. Let me get back to my initial starting point. No, it was not there. Okay. Where did I start? Was it here? Down a little bit further, maybe? Okay. So, we're gonna presume... Oh, okay, there's a... Bring down... The Guiding Light. Okay, so I... Okay, so where I'm at... I have a. I've, I'm at an intersection that goes. Uh, we're gonna call, call it east and west. With a warning to the north, I'm going to go to the west first. Oh, is there any colors for these books that I have access to? Are all different colors? I I have right now. I just have red flames everywhere and a blue light, kind of surrounding me. I go to the west. The light was slowly following me. I've got I can go in any cardinal direction. This what about symbols like the ones that we were just working with? I like have the... not seen them yet. Okay. 
Um, oh, I okay. I have a book. Can I read the book? I cannot read the book. Flip oh. it around. I can't even interact with it. I do not have an interaction option. Oh, does it just let you pick it up and you can't do anything no, with I it? I can't even pick it up. Oh. What's okay. it look like? A blink book ass a a a asset. Can't even read the pages. It's just an open book with lines I can barely see. Oh, okay. I thought maybe it had uh, symbols on it or something. Nope. I'm seeing a lot of drains, so that has me a little, a, a little concerned. They, or I just saw something walking there. Okay. So. Okay, I've got a picture of a bulldog with a spotted left eye with what looks like a milk spill below him. Um, we have the dog with, and that's next to a blue door. Um, and, okay, there is no light here, so this is... Okay, there's a dead end right now. So I, I do see a bl I, I have a blue door. Blue um, door. Okay. Well, with let's go find a blue book. Here, green. Here, red. Here, green. You look bluish. Here, red. Okay. So I don't have the one blue book. Let's look at you. Flip you around. Okey do. Okay. So the blue book says, Before one starts in the east, take one step westward. Then start by taking two steps north. Does that make any sense at all? Possibly. Let me go back to... Start. Okay, here's my start. Okay, before going to the east, take two steps westward. One step westward. One step westward. And then two steps north. Hey, two, uh, yes, two steps north. Which, if I'm reading correctly, leads me to the picture that I described. The dog with the milk stain underneath him. Okay, it says take one more step north. Can you go through the painting? Like, is it like a big wall? Nope. Well, I'm, I'm taking far more than one step, to be perfectly honest. I don't know how uh, yeah, literal... Reading comprehension here. Take one more step north, but not before moving one step west. So can you move west one space? I can. That takes me to a pitch black room. And then can you move north from there? Uh, sort of. Yes. Then it says, go west some more till one hits the wall. Okay. Then head straight for the door. Can you see a door? No. The only door is the, the, the closed portcullis with the blue gem on it. Well, okay, well, hold on to that. Um, I'm going to go to the east. See if we find any other doors. Let me reread re these books here real quick. Oh wait. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's a blue. There's a. I have a blue switch that I can pull. I'm gonna guess the blue switch opens the blue door to the east. Yeah. Or but the blue switch is to the east. Interestingly enough. Okay, and if I go... Well, maybe you have to open it and then redo the steps. Because it does say before you go to the east. But the problem is the blue door is to the west, is to the uh, east, not the west. Oh, here's another blue door. Right. Shoot. Okay, so that may not be... Um, okay, I'm well, going back. I think you need... Open the open the, the blue door to the east. Well, I but can't, before I... we go to the east, 
go back to the, the path. Okay, now I gotta find my way back. <laughs> okay, so you're here. We're, okay, so. This is a puzzle of order of operations. Yeah, so. Okay, I flipped the blue switch off to the east, now going back to the west. And. Oh, one step the, westward. The blue. Okay, the blue door is now open. So, one step westward. Okay, so. Oh, oh, I wonder if it's through the blue. Okay. I go, so, but okay, so one step westward. Two steps north. Two steps north. One step westward. One step westward. One step north. One step north. I'm going under a green gate. Go west some more until you hit, until one hits the wall. Okay, I have lost my cardinal direction now. I'm now seeing a red door. And straight for the door. Well, and the door is red door is closed. Is there anything near the red door? Um, I'm seeing another dog, uh, another uh, dog photo. Or no, it's not a dog. It's a. Oh yeah, it's it's a corgi with a wizard hat and bat wings. And he's at a, a di different red door. Okay, that's open. I am so confused. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm really bad at mazes, just as a FYI. I am now thoroughly lost. Okay, so I okay I found the blue door to the east. I'm on the other side of it now, and that blue door is still closed. Okay, that's the green door again. I can't go through. There's another going up into darkness. You're not ready to go. Okay, yeah, there's a the green door again. I'm not seeing any new switches. I don't see if I'm even. Not finding much to actually interact with, though, which is odd. Wait a minute. Oh, I can... Oh! Oh, dear. But all these torches can be... Turned off. Torches, huh? And there are a ton of them. Confused. I'm looking for. There's like books all over the place that have these directions in them. I'm also going to head back down the sewer section and maybe there's something that opens there after I had already left that I'm just missing. Nope, nothing here. Just water. So I think I think these books have to be put in a specific order. Oh, interesting. So what I'm going to do here. And of course, can I move with the book? No, I can't. Oh, I okay. I have found a green... Okay, that just tr that just closed that green door. That probably wasn't what I wanted to do. They made, I made my way all the way back to the blue door that I had opened. 
if I flip the green, let's see this. I, I don't remember if there was a green in the other direction. Yeah, to get me. I've got myself no back to the here. Got myself back to We're the beginning. breaking out the pen and paper here. <laughs> oh, so I had to go back and if I flipped will the green be open now? The green is open now. Okay. Or no, that was a green that just was already open, wasn't it? Oh, there's a red. Okay. There's a red now. See if it can figure it out just by randoming into it. <laughs> oh, Western. Oops, Eastern, not Western. watching this confused because I sure as heck am. <laughs> hey, you're closed again. Ooh, puddle sick. What if I go back and pull the blue lever again to reopen the blue door? Maybe there's a red door to that. Now that I flip the green. Doggy, and see if that lets me through and 
gets me to a red door now. Oh, this is interesting. Oh. I went back to the painting room and I noticed that the uh, torches here are interactable, although they don't seem to do anything when I touch them. Yeah, yours too, huh? Oh! Okay. Do you have the painting room? Do you have the bulldog with the flash of white at his feet? Uh, all I have here are birds. Well, I've got one thing that looks like a... I've got a face for a butt and fingers for toes and a skull for a head. Uh, that looks like a... Or is that, was that the bird painting room that we went to, that you were at earlier? Or? Yeah. Yeah, these are all bird-like things. I don't have any pictures of anything resembling a corgi. Yeah, I've got three dogs. They've got... <laughs> Bring down the guiding light. Hey? Oh, that's one of the... That's a message I have at the very start of this area. Um, do you have any... Anything... Any, any, any lit wall that has... An, like the... The last one we had was the answer lies between the eyes. Is there anything like that in this area, in the, in the newest area that opened up for you? Well, I didn't get a new area that opened up. That's the thing. I am, frankly, confused as heck it. Like, the books don't necessarily feel like they're the right... Yeah, I don't think they're... I don't think they're actually... Referring to the section. I miss, uh... should be open if I can find the blasted thing. I apologize in advance if uh, water starts raising again. I'm missing what the valve would be if there's... Okay. And it's the flashing... Or the, there's the, the... The light that kind of follows me sometimes, but not always. Oh, you know what? I, okay, I think I understand why why that thing, why that combination uh, stopped the water for you. I think the middle one is supposed to be red, even though it looks more like purple. And so red and blue makes purple, so hence why turning those stopped gotcha. the water for you. So... Does that work? I'm gonna try opening blue and yellow to make green and see if I can find something that opened. Same. 
Okay, well, we are getting close to the 40 minute mark if we haven't already passed it here. So I'm I'm thinking we're gonna go ahead and take a brief pause here for a couple minutes, but I'm just making myself to a point I can recognize. There's one for the green or one for the blue. Yeah, I wanted to look the green again. I go back and put the blue again to go through the other blue door. So you can find the open red. Hey, Cap! Thank you very much for the resub. Always appreciated. And you have arrived just in time for me to get ready to go on my first break. So thank you very much. I'm actually just trying to find. Okay. What you... So why are you so closed? What? Oh, that's right. So you're going to be close. You're going to be close. You're going to be close. No. Nope. I need to go. That's right. I flipped the green. I need to flip the blue back up so I can go through that blue and find the red. I think. Real quick. Just going to get through the blue door. And okay. Here is where we are going to pause. Pause pointing towards the blue door, so remember where we are. Okay, so I'm gonna pause here and switch over to this view. We're gonna close out this particular recording. So thank you very much if you're watching on the YouTube site. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, of course, if you do, please make sure that you help me out when you watch the video. Make sure that you leave a like and comment on the video. I do try to respond to every comment that's left on my videos. As well, if you could hit that subscribe button over on the YouTube side, I really appreciate it. It helps me get seen by the YouTube algorithm. As well, we're trying to get the YouTube channel to 100 subs. It's completely free of charge to do so. And that way you can we can get a custom URL for the channel and you get notifications whenever a new video goes up on the channel. I do post videos every Monday through Friday at 12, 15 p.m. Pacific time. That said, again, hope you enjoyed. And until I see you next time, actually, I should say, if you want to check out my other socials, you can do so in the doobly-doo, both on the YouTube side and here on Twitch as well. So, I'll see you next time. Game on, lovelies.